Welcome everyone to Dream Training. Today I have, we, we are going to discuss another item in dreams. This is probably one of the most common items. At one point in your life, I'm sure everyone has had this item in a dream. We're going to talk about vehicles today. So let's begin. Um, welcome to Dreams and Visions Training. I'm Lynn Hardy. Today we're discussing what a vehicle may mean in your dream. Now, by vehicles, we're talking about anything that takes you swiftly down the path you're on. We cannot limit it to just motorized vehicles, bicycles, or even motorcycles. It doesn't even have to have an engine. It can be a boat. What does it mean um, for the vehicle that you're in? Well, it can represent a ministry or a job, but most often it represents moving towards your destiny. So you have a destiny with God. You've been created for a specific purpose and you're moving through life. As we move through life, most of us have a job. We also have a ministry. This could be connected to anything that's in our life and at how we're moving forward. Now, what type of vehicle it is, the shape that the vehicle is in, are important factors when dealing with dreams. For instance, a pickup truck hauls supplies. So if you're driving a pickup truck, God is expecting you to deliver supplies. This could be an offering into his kingdom. It could be... Um, giving out food to the homeless. It, there, you are supposed to be delivering something for the kingdom of heaven or supplying others in a business type way. A school bus often speaks or always speaks of some sort of teaching because in school we learn things. So a school bus would represent some sort of teaching ministry, whether it be a school or a secular school or a Christian ministry where we're learning about God. Now, a few of the things that we wanna take note of and will have a specific meaning, um, it, what color is the car? So we would have to definitely look at the color and apply it to the vehicle. What kind of condition is the vehicle in? Is it all beat up? Is it bright and shiny new? Uh, is it something from the 1960s or even the turn of the century? All of these will indicate um, something about the way you're moving forward in your life or perhaps even backwards. <laughs> um, it will tell us the way in which we are traveling towards our destiny. If it's all beat up, then you may need, be need, in need of repair for the way that you are moving through life. Might, needs to be, might need to be fixed. Who is driving the vehicle? Do you know the person? Is it somebody from your past? Now, when we talk about people, you apply the people knowledge to the people in your car. If the driver is faceless, remember, often the Holy Spirit or angels have no face. If it's your spouse, that can be the Lord. Woohoo! Or it can be somebody else or something else in your life. Now, are you, what are you doing in the car? Our actions while in the car will also speak to us about our life. Do you have to pull off the road because the engine is overheating? Are you trying to go somewhere? That could be an indication of going somewhere without the oil or the anointing of the Holy Spirit or without enough water, enough fuel. Now, a few common modes of moving towards our destiny, a few things we want to look at. An abandoned car would be an unused ministry or a forsaken lifestyle. Aircraft carrier or a boat. Okay, let's, let's go more general first before we go aircraft carrier. A boat. A boat usually means a couple of different things. 
it, it the water can represent the Holy Spirit, or but the ocean usually represents something that touches many nations, or it um, it can be in the heavens. But normally the heavens are uh, in outer space or in the atmosphere. Um, a boat in the ocean can, is an international ministry or one that's worldwide. Um, in a small lake is just operating in the spirit in your own life. Now, a naval ship would represent the army of God. So an aircraft carrier would be symbolic of um, supporting those who are in ministry because they're because an aircraft carrier supports others who are doing some flying some other things so that would be supporting god's kingdom and activities of many different ministries an ambulance well if you're riding in the back there may be a critical area that needs your help right away if you're driving then you're helping those who are in dire need now a bicycle a bicycle is powered by our own two legs. Um, and it and that is what creates the power to move forward. It's not powered by an engine representing the Holy Spirit who is blowing up in our lives or or fueling our lives. So pedaling a bike is under your own power. You don't have God's help moving forward. It's under operating under your own strength and not resting. In God. A horse is always a symbol is always symbolic of power. If we are riding one, we're moving, we're moving forward in strength and power. The color or type, the number will all reflect how you're moving forward in power. If it's if they are pulling a carriage, then we are resting, being pulled along by power as we proceed towards our destiny. Now we also have motorcycles and dreams. Motorcycles, they are powered by the engine. That's great. That means we are moving forward with the help of the Holy Spirit. They're also easily maneuverable. You can get around traffic jams pretty easy in a motorcycle. So motorcycle means being flexible in the way you move forward, moving, you can move forward fast through, towards your destiny, but you don't have a lot of influence. You can't carry anybody with you. It's a very small device. Looking carefully at all the symbols in the dream will help um, the Holy Spirit give meaning, the right meaning to the dream. We have to include everything around it in order to properly interpret what the vehicle means. It's all, it can be un, a unique way the Holy Spirit is talking to you because of other circumstances in your life. This is why we cannot lean on just one meaning. We always have to lean on our counselor, our teacher, the Holy Spirit. Now, in one particular dream, I remember because my husband doesn't dream very often, he had a dream and it was actually moving forward um, down a river uh, and he was floating on top of a, of a car in a river with a tent on top of that, you know? So he had a raft, he had a car and he had a tent all stacked up one after another. That would you would need to take a look at all of those things together in order to figure out what the dream means. Most likely, the river is an obstacle, and he's floating along and he's moving that way in his destiny. He's actually kind of kept, he's kind of camped out there instead of crossing over. He's camping where he should be crossing over. Anyways, that is the meaning for those symbols combined, and. That's what we need to look at. We need to be willing to look with the Holy Spirit of each and every symbol and let him tell us what they mean. All combined together. We are now going to have a time of questions and answers from the team. 
um, and see if there's any items I missed. Okay, Amy, did I miss any items? Let's go to chat. Oh, here's one. I will answer this one myself. One item we have missed is what happens if a vehicle is more than one story high? I've had dreams that have been brought into the ministry where there's a double decker or a triple decker airplane bus <laughs> car or even a house that's traveling down the road all of these will have a very uh determined meeting especially the double decker part because wherever you have more than one level it means there's more than one level with god so a double decker bus is there's two levels of traveling forward with god um, a double decker airplane is moving in the spirit that's the one we forgot thank you holy spirit um, an airplane is a vehicle of, so of sorts and it travels through the air any vehicle that moves through the air is something that's moving in the spirit realm now there's different ways to move in the spirit realm there's godly ways and ungodly ways a double decker airplane um, with a pilot means a ministry that has more than one level of operation in the spirit because if you're not flying the plane if someone else is and it's carrying a lot of people that would indi indicate a ministry and not just yourself however if you're flying the plane then it's your ministry or it's you and your movements in the spirit and many things can move through the air whatever that item is will speak to that definition and movement in the spirit realm. Okay, we have a whole list of things here. I see, Amy, I'm just gonna call them out. We have a submarine. Okay, a submarine by definition moves under the water. So this is something, anything that's under water is under the surface. So it's not something clearly seen by everyone. It's a movement under, underground, under the water. And in this case, water would probably mean the spiritual realm or not the spiritual realm, something that touches many nations, but it's underneath the surface. A spaceship, as I said, anything that moves in the heaven in the atmosphere is something that's moving in the spiritual realm. So if some, if there's a spaceship in a dream, you are moving in the heavens, you're moving in the spiritual realm. Hmm, um, a tank. A tank is a military vehicle. It's moving forward with the strength, power, and determination with the army of God. A train. Oh, that's a good one. A train is a vehicle that um, is not operated usually by you as a person. And it, it's set on a line of tracks, train tracks, right? So a train represents a ministry that's carrying many people in one path, in one direction. For instance, the Courts of Heaven Academy um, is, a minister, is our ministry, right? And it moves students in a certain direction. You have 101, 201, 301. So then um, that could be represented by a train. Any ministry could be represented by a train. unicycle oh oh wait a minute the holy spirit's bringing in a correction about the bike a bicycle actually is riding on air because usually there's air in the tires so there is the holy spirit that you're moving with or on but it's under self power because it's your legs a unicycle only has one wheel bicycle has two so that would be um moving forward with a limited amount rather than a double amount of the Holy Spirit. Helicopters also move through the air. Because a helicopter can move in many more directions than an airplane, it's kind of like the same thing as a motorcycle. It's a motorcycle for the air. It doesn't carry a lot of people, but it's swift and you can move around very quickly.
Okay, here's another one. A donkey or a mule? Okay, those are two very de different things. A donkey is an animal, right? That's kind of like a horse, but donkeys are known for being a little bit stubborn, I think. And so that would speak to the st your stubbornness in going in a different direction. Um, a mule is a, not God's will. It's an interbreeding of two species that are unable to reproduce. So that would be actually moving forward, trying to do it in power, but you're not doing it according to God's ways or God's plan. So you've kind of stepped out where you shouldn't in, in a false power, so to speak, an ungodly one. I think I've got all of the ones I could see. Amy, is there more? Are there more? Uh, somebody asked about a horse and just in general, like if you're riding on an animal, do you have to look for the definition of the animal to figure out like how you're traveling towards your destiny? That is a great question. We've already covered horses moving in power, but yes, we should definitely look up the definition for that animal. For instance, bears have great strength, but they're also known as being very destructive. So that would be, oh yes, maybe it seems like you're very powerful and a, a moving forward in strength, but what you're really doing is moving forward in a way that is destructive, will wind up in destruction. Um, and any animal you'd have to do, look at it like that. A deer or an antelope are known for being good cre creatures and they move forward swiftly, right? So that could be, oh, you're moving forward in swiftness, but in not in much power. So yes, always add the definition of what you're, what you're writing on. Okay, Amy, so what else besides that one? Uh, did you answer the one about spaceships and helicopters and if they mean the same as airplanes? Yep. Oh, we okay. did that. My question was, so what about where the vehicle is? Like if it's a car and it's on a road versus like off-road versus back road or like for a water vehicle, like a stream versus an ocean, like does the placing? That is a great, Great question, and so much so I'm going to leave a blank spot so I know where to restart it. If you're ready, we're going to count to five and then go. Okay, where a vehicle is moving is super important because we do have the water in the pond as we've discussed, but are you on a road? Is the road condition poor? Are you in a traffic jam? Is it a two lane highway, a four lane highway? Um, everything about where you're driving will also impact the interpretation. For instance, say you have a bright, shiny, new white car with gold trim, but you're stuck in traffic. Well, this could mean that you're going in a wrong direction and with a lot of other people, even though you're equipped in righteousness, which is white, and even a little bit of God's glory, which is gold. So, but you're still headed in the wrong direction and you're not gonna proceed towards your destiny. You're going in the wrong direction like everyone else. If it's an unpaved ro road, it could be you're breaking a new trail. You're in a very uh, literally little used path. It doesn't mean it's a wrong path. If there's a lot of potholes in it, then that might speak to the fact of, oh, it's some rough going and there's some gaps in the knowledge you need to proceed swiftly in this direction. Um, if it's snowy, of course, um, it, there's two definitions for snow. It's either um, the Holy Spirit has been frozen and is unable to be easily digested, or it, it is a refreshing of the Holy Spirit. Both of those things may apply depending if it's snowy, if it's easy to travel, hard to travel. All of those things will help you understand what exactly is the conditions as you move forward with God? Um, what else did you say, Amy, besides uh, off-roading it? Um, I don't remember now off the top of my head, but, or water vehicles like through, through like a stream versus an ocean versus like a canal. Okay. So we did, we did ocean and um, ocean and pond. A river is a whole different thing. Um, and that's where you have to look up the definition of a river. A river usually indicates one of two things. It can, it can be the flow of the Holy Spirit that you're traveling down with the Holy Spirit, 
or it can also be a barrier that you have to cross. There is something that you need to get across, especially in the spirit, that's water. Um, and you need to go, go apart from that. Um, so um, I think that in, counts for both of those. We also had speed boat. So you have to put the name of the boat, the type of the boat in with the definition of what a boat does. A boat moves on water. Water is the spirit, or in some cases, something that touches many nations. So you put those two things together and you see that a speedboat is something that moves really fast in the spirit. Driving someone else's car is an indication that you're moving forward according to someone else's way of doing it and not your own. Um, in a desert is, a, is a, either a place without much of the Holy Spirit around, uh, a time in the wilderness with the Lord. Traveling to another planet can either be moving in the heavenly realms, it could be visiting heaven, or uh, basically you're not grounded on earth. In other words, you're way off base because you're on another planet. It depends on the color of the planet, what's going on, and there's uh, that would be a whole nother ball game. It's just you're far out there. How's that? I think we've thoroughly covered all the types of ways that you could possibly be moving forward. Remember, if you're walking, that may be under your own power, but our walk, hmm, our walk is under the two power, uh, the power of our own two le legs. That is one, that means we don't have a car, which we're gonna get be getting places slower, but we have to look at the entirety of the dream because when we're walking, it's a tricky thing. That walking could represent, it's just a way that um, it's about the walk we have in life. So if you're walking through a shadowy dark place, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. So it could just be talking about your Christian walk or your walk in business or your walk with the family. It's not always a negative thing to be walking, although it could be. If there's a lot of cars zooming past you and spraying water on you and, you know, and, and there's, there could be some negative things. It just depends upon the dream. I've had a dream with a wagon. A wagon is a very unique symbol. Well, a wagon is an old fashioned symbol. It's something that's um, from the past, right? We no longer use wagons, but it's pulled by horses. So it could be um, either A, moving forward in power because it's being pulled by horses, or it could be like moving in the old wineskin power because it's in the past. So it could be either or, we don't know until we see everything that is in that dream. Uphill versus downhill. There are two different ways to travel, um, uphill and downhill around a corner, I guess there's three. Um, uphill means you are going through tests and trials. It's more challenging going up that hill. Going downhill means a time of rest of coasting, of ease. Um, however, if you're, hmm. okay, the Holy Spirit's telling me I need to tell you about north, south, east, and west. The direction you go is also important because traveling north means towards God. Tra traveling south means away from God. Um, traveling east is towards mercy and great, and west is towards judgment. This is because God's mercy is new each and every day. The sun rises in the east. East is towards his mercy. Um, west is towards judgment, which isn't necessarily bad. Um, it could be you're learning about that God is the just and righteous judge. South is really the only direction you have to be concerned with. The further south you are, oh, you are in some kind of sinful territory away from God. Also left versus right. Right is the right. Right is in the physical. Usually, left is in the spirit. Um, so, if you're making a left-hand turn, there is some way that you need to turn in the spiritual matter. If you're flying in a dream without a vehicle, 
then it just represents moving in the spirit and you don't have the aids to get there. You, it's just you moving and operating in the spirit. Again, this could be um, without a whole lot of guidance from, from the Holy Spirit or the Lord if you have nobody with you. It's just in your own power, moving in the spirit. You should definitely want to note any um, special features of a vehicle, like huge windows. And you have to add the definition of windows to the car. Windows mean looking in the spirit realm. So if you're looking, if your car has big windows, it means you are really good at viewing the spiritual realm. Um, a double exhaust. Exhaust mo moves the fumes from the vehicle away from you. So in other words, you are really good at moving um, that which is not from the Holy Spirit, all the, uh, all the garbage from life and the spirit out of your life. And it, whatever is wrong with the vehicle, you would definitely apply that as well, such as flat tires usually mean you're out of, out of air. You're not riding on the Holy Spirit, <laughs> who is the air in our life. He's also the fuel. So if you're um, out of fuel, you're not riding in the power. You're not letting the Holy Spirit power your movement forward. As you can see, we, there would be many, many different items. Let's talk about one more thing, and that is the rear view mirror. Your rear view, it's behind you. It means your past. Um, so if there's something in your rear view mi mirror that's chasing you, then it's something from your past trying to catch up with you. And you would definitely want to try and figure out what that is from the past. Um, the side mirrors would be something beside you that you're that you're moving forward with in your destiny. I think those are all the items we have here today, time we have here today. I know that there are a million different items connected with a car. We have the trunk and we have the hood, otherwise known as the bonnet for you in the UK. <laughs> um, under the hood is, is what's um, motivating and, and empowering your vehicle to move forward. What's in the trunk is the things you're taking along with you for the ride from the past, forward and back, um, parts of the car. The doors, of course, are the entry into your movement forward towards your destiny. The bumpers are what protect you along your trip. Remember, bumpers, the whole job of the bumper on the front and the back is to keep damage from happening. So if you don't have a good bumper on your car, you might be taking more damage than you should in life. Boy, this video is gonna be a lot of fun to edit tonight so I can upload it. Just saying, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do a lot of cutting. Uh, journey. Go right ahead, unless we have volunteers or somebody who wants to do video editing. Go ahead, Journey. What did you have a question? Um. Yeah. So I've had like this thing in a couple of dreams where I'm driving, but there's another car like outside of the car I'm driving. But somehow, like I'm trying to drive that car too, and I'm trying to stay in control of it. Mm. And then usually I usually I lose control, honestly, <laughs> but it's like I'm controlling it as I'm driving another car at the same time. I just want to know like what that might mean. So in other words, you're being double-minded about how you're proceeding towards your destiny and those who are double-minded get nowhere. Oh, uh, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Did anyone <laughs> else get that um, definition, Bridget? Would you have been able to put those two together? <laughs> I'm just gonna ask Bridget. Yeah, she's coming along. It was a thought, but I'm probably wasn't sure if I went with that. <laughs> <laughs> that had to, that's all it is with the Holy Spirit and dream interpretation. You just have to go with it, Bridget. <laughs> You're like, okay, this is what I'm getting. And know that it's the Holy Spirit helping you out. Okay. Um, so a vehicle traveling on train tracks towards an oncoming train. That would definitely be you are on the path with the ministry 
and you're doing it under your own power. So you're not officially joined to them. You're trying to travel the same path as a ministry. And because of that, you're going to, you're going to run into trouble. You're running headlong into danger and you're in danger, which is the headlong into another train. Okay. I think that is it for today. Um, let's take a short break. Scott, I have your message here. I see that you asked a question. Let me see. Where is it? Let's see if I can find it. Um, isn't it Scott? I'm looking. Who had that? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Sheila had one. Sheila had a dream about going towards South Padre. Um, so you have to look at the meaning of those words. South, away from God. Padre is actually the Spanish word for father. So in if you're going towards South Padre, it means you've taken on some words that are pushing you away from God instead of closer to his will. You're going away from God's will. Okay, that's it.